Top five architecture designer books that every architect and designer should have in their arsenal. This can be for any gift or just something you should have in your library. I'll explain why in just a second, but make sure you first hit that like, subscribe button, show some love to the channel, and let's get into it. So let's let's start, start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning, right? First book on the list is 101 Things I Learned in Architecture School. This book is a really cool book for like a coffee table, kind of just have laying around. It's really easy to read and it breaks down a lot of the concepts we learn in architecture school. If you are in architecture school and you read this book, you might enjoy it. But also, when you finish, it's also really cool to have. It's a really cool must-have. I think it's like 10, 20 bucks. You don't have to break the bank for this, but this is just something that every architect designer should have. <gasps> I say it appears my cranium has doubled in size. The second most important book in architect's arsenal or designer's arsenal is Building Construction Illustrated. Now, you don't have to have the most recent edition, but this book is very important. Why, you may ask? Because it breaks down the basics of every single component of a building. It literally breaks down by the CSI format, chapters one through like 16 and it just basically goes over everything involved in a and it's so easy to understand it's even got cool pictures i love pictures whether you're starting to become an architect whether you are already an architect looking for a gift to her this book is the one that like like you will actually use this in your practice trust me i would know i use it the third book that basically builds on top of building construction illustrated is architectural graphic standards again doesn't have to be latest and greatest but this book builds off of the previous book i just mentioned this book gets into a lot more deeper detail than the previous book this book gets you down to the nitty gritty i mean like dimension sizing the whole nine yards and it's the same concept how to build a building from a to z and it's got pictures i love pictures <laughs> but you get the idea guys license architect i use this Good book to have, seriously. Okay, I'm listening, you have my attention now. And for my last two books, they're gonna be a little bit of a curveball because they're actually not books, they're Audible books. I actually legitimately use Audible. This video is not sponsored by Audible. So this book is The E-Myth Architect by Michael E. Gerber. This book basically brings the internet to an architectural firm because architectural firms are so integrated with drawing stuff that we tend to forget to be with the latest and greatest technology. And this book basically is promoting the latest and greatest technology and saying, hey, if you want to get to the next level, you can't be stuck in the old ways. I'm not going to spoil the whole book for you guys, but it's very interesting to read to see how things are evolving in the industry and how you can integrate and stay up to date with these things. So the E-Myth by Michael E. Gerber, great books to check out, but not as good as this one. I'm going to show you the last but not least, a very practical guide to the business side of architecture. 100% full on attention. The last book on the list again is another Audible, Architect and Entrepreneur. This is the Architecture Entrepreneur Field Guide by Eric Rindle. I don't know if I pronounced your name wrong. I'm sorry if I did, but he's a local YouTuber. I'll drop his link below. Great, great channel, great, great stuff. But this field guide is kind of bringing the business side of the architecture to the light. Brings the business side into the industry, not so like pushy pushy, he's just like, hey, this is how you build a strong brand. Listen to what I've done and, and take and take what you want from it. So I really think I should give it a try. I'll drop the links in below. Obviously, you can check it out. So that's my take, guys. Top five books. Three of them are actually physical books. The other two are from Audible. I like to mix it up. I don't like sticking to just one or the other. I like to expand my ways of learning, whether it can be listening while I'm in the car, while walking my dog, or sit down and read for a little bit. It's good to mix it up a bit. So... You guys can check out those links below. Make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment below if it helped you guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, adios.